Hi, my name is Dr. Anthony Lamar and I'm a cardiothoracic surgeon. Today we're going to talk about the use of extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, or ECMO, for, the, for patients who have respiratory failure. Before we get started though, let's review what ECMO is. Okay, so extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, or ECMO, is essentially just a modification of the cardiopulmonary bypass machine that we heart surgeons use in the operating room. It essentially allows us to add oxygen to red blood cells and to remove CO2 or carbon dioxide from the red blood cells as well. Now, there, there are two types of ECMO that, that, that exist. Essentially, there's a venous venous ECMO for patients who have respiratory failure, and there is a VA ECMO or venous arterial ECMO that is used for patients who have heart dysfunction or heart failure. We're just going to focus on the patients who have respiratory failure for the purpose of this discussion. So once again, the critical aspect of ECMO is that it's taking over the role of the lungs. It's adding oxygen and removing CO2 from the blood. Now there are two essential ways in which, two methods in which we add, we, we support or, or add ECMO uh, to a patient who has respiratory failure. Before we get started on that though, let's review the anatomy of the heart. This is a model of the heart here. I like to think of the heart in terms of sides. This is the right side, superior vena cava, right atrium, and inferior vena cava. And this is the right ventricle. And blood essentially should go from the superior vena cava, right atrium, into the right ventricle. We also have blood coming from the inferior vena cava into the right atrium to the right ventricle. This is the left side of the heart, left atrium, left ventricle, and, a blood, and blood will essentially go from the left atrium to the left ventricle. Essentially, when we're putting someone on venous venous ECMO for respiratory failure, essentially one way we can do it is we take a single cannula and place it from the superior vena cava into the right atrium through into the inferior vena cava. It, this single cannula has two lumens, which allows us to add blood, excuse me, add oxygen, uh, oxygenated blood to the body and remove blood that's unoxygenated, take it to the circuit where oxygen could be added to it. That's a single cannula, and that's actually the most common reason, the more common way in which patients are placed on venous venous ECMO. Another way, or a second approach, would be to place a single cannula through the superior vena cava into the right heart, that would allow us to get blood from the, from, the, from the patient. Another cannula would go from the femoral vein. Now, we'll use our model here, of the human body here. We'll, we'll, take, we'll place another cannula from the femoral vein, and that cannula will go into the heart, and that would allow us also to add or remove blood as well. So we can use two cannulas in that approach, one approach going from the, inf the excuse me, the um, the internal jugular vein, superior vena cava, into the heart, another cannula going from the femoral vein into the heart. That's one approach, but the more common approach would be to use a single cannula going from the superior vena cava into the right heart, into the inferior vena cava, and that again has two lumens that allows us to add oxygen in blood and also remove oxygen in blood. Now, placing someone on venous venous ECMO is a serious, serious uh, proposition, and that is something that's discussed usually in a multidisciplinary group. Now, when patients are placed on VV ECMO, this can be done either in the operating room or sometimes just in the intensive care unit. This is something that actually is serious once again, and patients can be placed on ECMO for a couple of days, sometimes a couple of weeks, or oftentimes a couple of months. The most common reasons to date are someone who has a acute respiratory distress from either infection or some kind of inflammatory distress. Okay, this is a brief description of placing someone on venous venous ECMO. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you very much.